good morning world. Today is a big day. It appears that we are building a house today, officially starting to frame our A-frame cabin out on the property. I just can't believe it. We've been waiting for this day for so long. So, so long, haven't we, buddy? They're gonna build a house today. Uh, what the Yeah! And so, I'm just like, I'm literally just sitting here talking about it. It, is, it seems so crazy. It's hard to believe. But anyway, let's go check it out. I mean, shoot, they may have already started. It's already 8.30, so we're gonna go to the property and we're gonna start framing a house today. Let's do it. We made it. We're on the property. We're gonna go check it out. Kinda see what's going on today. As far as I know, we should be getting started framing. I don't know what needs to happen before that, but we're about to see. <laughs> So this is literally one of the first things that I'm actually gonna get to do to help build this house. Let's go. Hi guys, Ash here. Mars has taken on a huge part of this project as I've been working on other tasks and I'm super grateful, but I'd like to say hello and explain a little bit about what's going on with this project. Time to move all this stuff over. When we first received our lumber, we weren't quite ready for it because the excavators were still working on the ground surrounding the foundation at the time. Then we didn't have a lift, so these joists had to be individually moved 100 feet or more to get them ready for install. Installed pretty quickly, but there were a ton of them, so it definitely took a minute. Glad to have had multiple people working on it all day. Most of the joists were singles, but we had a fair amount of doubles and even a triple or two due to the customizations we made to the original A frame plan. Here we go, this is the end of day one. We got all, almost all, of our floor joists put in on the main level. We got our support wall built, obviously, before. And we got everything prepped so that tomorrow we're gonna put the rest of the floor joists in. And basically, we're gonna go for subfloor, I think. So, yeah, dude, day one, we're doing it. We're freaking building this thing. Here we are, day two of working on this A-frame kit structure on the property. And um, it hasn't gone as ideal as it could. Hit a couple snags, we were finishing up, putting in the rest of the floor joists and realized that the numbers on several of the documents were, uh, basically there's a discrepancy there. Ended up calling this company who put together our lumber for us. Turns out we actually are missing some. They are gonna get us floor joists as soon as possible and that has kind of slowed things down. But we have been putting together with uh, all the hardware to hold the floor joists together. So it's kind of slow moving today, but the most important thing is that we are making progress. That's happening. So the excavation team has been out today to install our cistern. So we put in a 1700 gallon cistern, which is a little bigger than most homes do around here. But we did that for future proofing, adding on additional dwellings, a uh, community room, anything else that we need more water storage for, that will already be done. And it costs way less to do it now than it does to do it later. So, looks like on Friday, the 
uh, guy who drilled our water well will come out, attach everything together. It'll be inspected sometime next week and backfilled and then our water situation will be completely done. Now on with the subfloor which moves surprisingly fast. So we just wrapped up day two of building out this A-frame cabin and I have to say we had a couple hiccups throughout the day, didn't get as much done as we wanted to, but man, we're moving and grooving. We have most of our subfloor down here and I'm sure we'll finish that first thing tomorrow morning. And you know what? It's like, I just feel super grateful. This is finally moving and it has been so long trying to move this project forward. It's happening now. Together, these first story trusses was actually a pretty straightforward process. It can be done with a couple of people, but we found that three people was the perfect number to keep things moving forward easily and efficiently. Trust by trust, this thing is starting to take shape. Next, we get the first few sheets going on the exterior. Woo! Here we are, closing up day number three, building this A-frame cabin. How do you feel, buddy? Good. You feel good? It's been really fun, hasn't it? Uh, daddy. Yeah. So today everything went pretty smooth. Just chipped away at it. Um, it was a little more time consuming than one would imagine, but we got a lot done and I mean, we're rocking and rolling. So tomorrow we'll be back and I think we're gonna start working on upstairs a little bit and then we'll be sheeting the walls. So tomorrow's like a pretty big day. We should be nice and exhausted at the end of the day tomorrow. I want daddy. So actually a quick note here. The fellas from the excavation company, they came out and trenched this trench today for power that's going to run from our wellhead to the studio. We're actually going to leave it open, the, the trench open, so that when the power company, Excel, comes, they basically can lay down permanent power to the studio. And so we'll actually have two power services on the property, one that's on basically the north side of the property, one that's on the south side of the property. Basically the closest power is going to be the studio for the well. Long story long, there's power service for our house and everything on the south, power service for the studio, the well, and anything that we develop on the north side. So it'll be great that um, that's all done uh, here quickly. <laughs> Day four ended up being not much of a day overall. As previously mentioned, we were shorted some pertinent lumber pieces for our floor joists and in other areas of the house. So our lumber company had to send us more over the weekend to continue on. This resulted in a couple of waiting days, but it ended up working out all right. 
props on one of the crew members, Jim, for his skills maneuvering this lift from the road all the way back through our property. Hello world, we are now on day five of our A-frame kit build. Yesterday we thought we were gonna get rolling and that that was gonna be day five, but sure enough, ends up we just got some lumber delivered that was missing in our original shipment and so we didn't really get any progress. But today we're gonna be putting up our main 33 foot tall arch um, A's and so it's gonna be pretty cool uh, we got a, a big lift here to help with that but first we got to get rocking and rolling on all the stuff so that we can get to that point it should be a pretty wonderful day let's go Right near me though. Stay right by Jed. Right, right here. Yep. We don't want to get close to the edge because it's a long way down. website says you can put the structure of this kit together in seven to eight days with a three-person crew. It doesn't look like that will be the case for us, but considering the holdup with our lumber and building this in the winter, I feel pretty good about the progress we've been making so far. Now that the book of the structure is coming along, the next projects are blocking and sheeting.
Hello, friends. Coming at you from the A-frame. We have been just working away at this man, chipping away. And now, we have all, every single one of our trusses up. And today, we got a huge chunk, and by we, I mean the guys. I did, well, I did this wall. I did some over on this other side, but the guys were up on hella tall ladders, putting on the sheeting for the roof. And we got almost done. And I hear that there's this ritual and it's good, it's good luck. You have to do it for good juju, but it's called a capping party. And it's whenever you put the last bit of the roof sheathing on at the end of the day you have to have a couple of beers to solidify the work and basically wish it a job well done and get the good juju from it so anyway that'll be tomorrow but for today man this is like it's really coming around you can kind of see what's going on right here we're gonna have it's actually gonna extrude and go you know completely vertical um uh, have a dormer it's a 10 foot wide dormer i think that's where we're gonna put a bench seat uh with a big dining table i have lots of seating for my friends to come over and then you can kind of see our entryway over here and then up top this is a dormer like a mini dormer and it'll basically just have a couple windows that we can go and look at um, look out at you know to see when friends show up or to see the deer go by so anyway here it is man it's coming around i'm finishing up right here um, with some blocking this piece here it's basically just extra support between the trusses and then we'll be back tomorrow but there might be snow tomorrow. We are gonna find out. All right, it's gonna go hit them all through the floor, subfloor sheathing into these blocks and then I'm done. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in following our journey of building out a creative retreat in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, make sure to subscribe and please leave a comment below with any questions, insight, or just overall good vibes. See you next time. Okay. Well, I think that's about it for the day. Honestly, it is, uh, it's a little bit cold, kind of windy, and the storm's about to blow in, so I feel like we got a crap ton done today. And we're gonna come back tomorrow and keep killing it. So, see you then.